Hello, I'm Daniel and I'm here to show you my new spline tool. This is a spline tool I created for Unreal Engine. So you have a lot of different options uh, on the right. And for the beginning, I will just create a simple spline. So you can easily see how it works when I add objects to it. On the right, uh, if you can see, you have uh, the options to either uh, add uh, static meshes or actors. I will go for uh, static meshes now. Uh, you can simply switch by yeah, uh, checking that and then you can add elements here. You can also add multiple elements. Um, then uh, they get randomly chosen. Uh, Let's take that. Now you see you have a little bit of uh, these in that position and a little bit of uh, those in this position. Mainly that tool is for uh, yeah placing objects yeah along a spline like uh, cliffs or if you have a lot of uh, pillars you need to place, uh, then this tool is really useful. Um, okay, I need to select the spline again. So, uh, for example, we have the spacing here. Uh, you can adjust the spacing like you want. Uh, let's take a bit more. And um, uh, yeah, you have the option to add one more at the end because sometimes it can be uh, yeah, that one is missing or there's one too much, uh, especially if you have a, a smaller spacing. Uh, you can say, okay, the object should follow the rotation along the spline. Uh, uh, yeah, like here, you can uh, really see that, that the character here on the right, uh, yeah, that they rotate. Um, oh no, that was the wrong option, sorry. Uh, same for the other axis, and now they all look in the same direction. And then you can, for example, uh, take that parameter, I'll remove one of these objects for now to make it a bit more clear. Um, you can rotate these objects like you want here. For example, you yeah, have uh, 90 degrees. There, everyone looks in the same direction, but you also want the rotation along the other axis uh, along the spline, then you can do that. And then you have, for example, if you rotate this, then uh, they still rotate, but also have that 90 degree turn. Um, then you can also set a fixed scale if you say, yeah, you want uh, them all to be a bit bigger. Uh, then you can do that as well. And you also have uh, the option yeah, to close the loop here in the spline settings. Uh, yeah, closed loop, bam then that also works and now you can see there's one too much so I will disable that one and now it looks fine again. Um, and therefore that option exists. And then you can also invert uh, X rotation, Y rotation, Z rotation. You can also use it in combination with all the rest. The rotation uh, gets always added to the uh, default rotation so if that is zero um, and you uh, add also later on random rotations everything gets applied on top of that um, so yeah uh, you can check also all the options at once if you want i will turn them off now again and then you have also a custom seat that you can set if you want for the randomness. Currently we don't have randomness, so we activate some randomness. Um, so like we want uh, a minimum of that on x uh, 100, between minus 100 and plus 100. And uh, then they have a random offset. Uh, I think it's easier to see. What that one, uh, let's say minus 300 and plus 300 there. Yeah, now you see the different uh, offsets here. Uh, you can always disable that again, or if you enable it, you also have a button here to uh, generate a new seat, then they get yeah new random positions. Same for the rotation. 
uh, yeah, you can set a random mineral rotation like minus 90 degrees, plus 90 degrees, and then it also works for the other axis, and scale, yeah. Uh, here you can also set a min and max scale, you can uh, enable uniform scale, then you have only that, else you can do it for each individual axis. But when I now do that, uh, like three, then I have a random uniform scale between one and three. So you see that one is very small, while that one there is very big. Uh, yeah, same goes for the other axis. If you say, okay, uh, let's say just that one, then you get something like that. Uh, yeah, let's reset that and uh, turn that off. And yeah. Uh, that was basically all the options from uh, the spline tool. Like I said, you can also do that with the uh, actors. And if you have more, if you add more than one actor or more than one static mesh, they get chosen randomly. And to uh, place these uh, objects, uh, you can say, okay, place objects. Then you can reuse the spline and they get uh, generated uh, exactly the same again because uh, the uh, as long as you don't generate a new seed they are exactly the same and like i say you can also change the seed here if you uh, have another seed from a different spot that you like more then you can use that as well and you can also delete these objects uh, and then uh, oops delete these objects and then uh, delete the spline tool to get rid of them uh, yeah, and that are basically all the functions from this spline tool. And afterwards, you can still just delete uh, ones that you don't like, or if you say, ah, okay, that one doesn't look like I want, I want it a little bit more rotated or a bit more scaled, you can still do that without any problems because these are individual objects in the scene. That was my spline tool. Thank you for watching, and see you maybe in another. Bye.